GMC Yukon. Thanks to modern technologies, a disability is no longer a hopeless condition. Today, people in wheelchairs have in many ways the same opportunities as others. Cars with hand controls are not new to the market, so driving has long since ceased to be a problem for people in wheelchairs. Nevertheless, comfortably getting inside the car is still very difficult. Chevrolet's GMC Yukon is a series of large, massive off-road vehicles specially modified for people with disabilities. The vehicles are modified by the ATC company. The experts equip the SUVs with special lifts that bring the wheelchair into the cabin in seconds. In addition, the person doesn't have to make any effort. Interestingly, there are several designs. In the GMC Yukon and the GMC Yukon XL Denali models, the doors go up thanks to a system of knuckle joints. When opened, the door is parallel to the floor. But for the GMC Yukon XL, another type of door was chosen. In this case, it moves aside along with the lifting platform. Stella Lux and Stella Vi Surprisingly, the two cars we are going to show you next were designed by a group of 26 students from the Eindhoven University of Technology in the Netherlands. The team wanted to create a solar-powered car suitable for both racing and family use. The result is a project that has repeatedly won the World Solar Challenge, an Australian solar car race. In addition, in 2015, Stella won the Best Technology Development Award. First, let's take a closer look at the Stella Lux model. This is the second-generation Stella car, developed in 2015. As you can see, almost the entire roof surface is covered with solar panels. Its total area is 5.8 square meters. Despite its cumbersome appearance and impressive dimensions, the car can reach speeds of up to 125 kilometers per hour. By the way, if you drive the Stella Lux at a speed of 72 kilometers per hour on a sunny day, you could travel infinitely. The Stella Vi model was introduced in 2017. The developers increased its capacity from four to five people. The layout has also been redesigned. The car is longer and narrower. Thanks to the new shape of the body, the aerodynamics were improved, reducing the area of the solar panels. In this case, it's just five square meters. The car's top speed is 130 kilometers per hour. OR3. Don't let the modest size of the next car fool you. The small OR3 car developed by the international team Atsa Robotics can patrol the roads just as effectively as a human being. The car moves using the patented 3D SLAM navigation technology. Thanks to it, the OR3 is able to distinguish between moving and static obstacles in its path and then go around them as carefully as possible. Its compact size allows it to move not only on the road, but also on pedestrian paths. A laser scanner and HD cameras covering 360 degrees of space, as well as a litter, allow the OR3 to collect as much information as possible. The data is transmitted in real time, 24-7, to a computer where a person can work with it. Working together, this security team provides maximum surveillance and protection. By the way, OR3 can be equipped with a drone that will follow a criminal even in inaccessible areas. <music> Nissan Blade Glider This concept car was first presented during the Tokyo Motor Show in 2013. At that time, the model caused a lot of discussion and controversy, but the Nissan developers didn't give up. A couple of years later, in 2016, they presented a renewed blade glider to the world. This version was redesigned to be more suitable for mass production. First of all, we should mention that this car runs on electricity. 
Like many other electric cars, Blade Glider has a very low center of gravity, which makes its unusual shape incredibly efficient. The car is shaped like a triangle thanks to a narrow front and a wide rear. These features have a positive impact on aerodynamics and maneuverability. Each wheel is equipped with an electric motor. In total, they have a capacity of 268 horsepower. The maximum speed that Blade Glider can reach is 190 km per hour. Audi AI Me, the world's largest automobile companies believe that car sharing systems are the future. Fewer and fewer people are buying personal vehicles, while short-term car rentals are becoming increasingly popular. In the coming decades, this trend will continue to grow. It is not surprising that car companies are starting to prepare already. Right now, Audi AI Me is only a project, but it gives us an idea of what short-term rental cars will look like in a couple of years. This is an electric car. For the first time, it was presented at the Shanghai Auto Show in April 2019. The capacity of the car is 170 horsepower. Its top speed is only 70 kilometers per hour. However, the Audi AI Me has been designed for cities with busy traffic, so it should be enough. When designing the interior, the engineers wanted to implement the idea that a car is like a second home. Therefore, the Audi AI Me has everything it needs to keep the passengers entertained. A large OLED panel, access to online entertainment services, and even augmented reality glasses. As you can see, the Audi AI Me can be driven by either an autopilot or by the user. Nissan IMX. Here's another car aimed at popularizing car sharing. In this case, it's a Nissan project. This innovative model implements all the technologies that will become popular and massive in the near future. This, of course, includes the power supply. Nissan IMX is an electric car. In addition, it is capable of moving completely autonomously. Nine radar sensors, 12 cameras, six laser scanners, and 12 sonar sensors help the vehicle navigate in the road. Interestingly, the developers claim that the Nissan IMX is like a partner for the drive. The car's purpose is to ensure a safe, comfortable, and most importantly, enjoyable drive. If you wish, the steering wheel and pedals are completely hidden from view. The Nissan IMX is equipped with a new, fully redesigned electric battery. By 2022, this kind of battery will be used in the electric cars of the Nissan company as well as Renault and Mitsubishi. Mercedes-Benz Vision Urbanetic The last car we're going to show you today is another concept vehicle, but it has more secrets than it may seem at first glance. The main feature of the Vision Urbanetic is that it's a modular vehicle. According to the developers, the vehicle has a detachable electric platform and countless different bodies. In addition, each body can have its own unique function. The Mercedes-Benz Vision Urbanetic can be a standalone taxi, a special service vehicle, a truck, a mobile sales point, or even a cafe. Interestingly, the wheeled platform is able to move without the bodywork. It's equipped with an engine, sensors, cameras, and all other components necessary for riding. In the future, transport companies will be able to buy these platforms and bodies and combine them according to the needs of each customer.